Hello everyone, hey, I'm Harbinger here from newfeed.com. I my name is Adam. I am the managing editor for newfeed.com and today I am playing Anvil Vault Breakers. Now this is a preview build provided to us by the publisher, uh, specifically my uh, press contact. I'm not sure if I should give his name or not, but thank you so much for it. I've been playing the game for a while now and I'm going to give an impression I'm going to show you some gameplay and give you my impressions on it. Well, there's a written uh, article below. You can go and check out my more detailed article and thoughts on it. But basically, this is a top-down roguelike shooter where you go through a series of random gener randomly generated planets and take on different fights in arena-style combat. You can choose from breakers, which are basically people in metal suits. So it's like the uh, javelins from Anthem or the classes from Titanfall or even Warframe if you want to keep going there. Each class has their own special abilities, but in the preview build we have access to three of them. So we have access to the jungler, which is basically your standard class. We have access to your guillotine, he's the heavy melee build. Then we have Elsa here, who is a glass cannon. And then we have here who is Shuri, she's more of a healer. Now you can play this cooperatively and most of these classes do complement more cooperative elements. Like for example, Guillotine is more of a heavy hitter but he can't really move a lot so be prepared to die a lot unless you're really good at that type of defensive abilities. Elsa is a pretty good solo character but again she can't take a hit so you have to be really good at evading. If you land a perfect dodge you actually gain a better traction with your character in terms of rate of fire increases and you can actually generate a shield which allows you to take more damage while affecting your health and then we also have Shuri here who is more of a balance between the two but I've played all of them but my favorite is the jungler do we do have various skills as you can see here this is the jungler skills weapon standard assault rifle but you can pick up different weapons as you play through the arena these are temporary they do not come with you once you die but when you do die you upgrade yourself with relics that you can collect during the adventure now they only unlock uh, when you complete certain galaxies so the only the first galaxy is available right now for the preview build but as you play you get to unlock these and you can place relics for increased bonuses these are permanent and then we have cosmetics of course Right now, I, I really hope they add more cosmetics, but you probably saw that it says Season Pass. So you can unlock different items. This These are the two types of currency. This one is for building your character's skill tree, and this one is for purchasing items, like as you can see there, unlock for 400 gems. So as you play, you unlock more tiers, and you can purchase these items. And then there is body armor here, which changes the entire character. I really hope they add more uh, cosmetics because these are limited, but everything is subject to change for the preview build. So far, my favorite is Yuzi here. I haven't unlocked her, so I can't say for gameplay, but just purely for cosmetics. Like, her, her armor looks freaking sick. Like, this right here is so badass looking. Uh, then we also have this one, which looks pretty good. But she also has a helmet where you get to see her face. And I hope they put this more into all the other co uh, breakers so you can see the person's face. So you have all these cosmetics you can change your character. So we're going to play with uh, Jungler. Toy Warriors. Uh, these are upgrades. I haven't unlocked any of them. These are permanent upgrades for all your characters. So once you unlock, you can uh, choose between offensive, defensive, strategic, uh, strategic. And yeah, there we go. So let's get right into a match. So operate. This is the only galaxy that's available in the preview build. Up to two players, but I'm going to play solo. So each time you land onto a planet, it's randomly generated and different paths are provided to the player. You get different upgrades along the way that are temporary. These offer permanent boost to your skills. And then the uh, cube ones offer boost to your statistics. So this is in Contra, you can't uh, you can't uh, keep shooting, you do have to reload your gun and the weapons are separated onto tiers. So this is a purple gun right now for a shotgun. Each breaker can only get certain amount of weapons, for example your Elsa can only get uh, handguns, but Jungler can get assault rifles, shotguns. So each class has their own uh, level of upgrades they get, so I'm going to show one of the abilities here. Some abilities do give you invincibility uh, invincibility frames. 
So these are little bonuses you can get, like this uh, robot will assist me in combat until he freaking gets destroyed. <laughs> but there are turrets and other upgrades you can get, so let's uh, upgrade our thing. One more use. Perfect dodge. I'm gonna choose that. So the arrow points you to what path you can take next. Each path is random. So you probably notice you're getting little gems. Those are for upgrades for statistic upgrades. You get a certain amount of upgrades based on whatever cube. Here's the cube. So here you can upgrade your character and this determines how many you can get. Oh yeah, the game does not pause even though you're in that menu. Graphically, the game does look really alluring. It's pretty. So these won't be the only enemies we fight. Each planet has different enemies, which is pretty cool. And the bosses that we'll eventually encounter are completely random. So we have two bosses we'll be fighting. Hope I don't embarrass myself too much here. perfect dodge so uh, if I upgraded I could have probably gotten uh, increased rate of fire and stuff oh here's something it's called uh, disturbances based on the disturbance they increase the enemy strength health or their speed and sometimes they'll spawn very powerful enemies they kind of look like the uh, robots from Horizon Zero Dawn I mean, uh, technically you call them the Pharaoh Plague, but they're not. The plague is actually the virus, not the uh, enemies themselves. I like the enemy design. It's really well done. And there we go. Let's save up. I also like the fact they just give you the gems, so you don't have to keep running around. It's uh, really good for speedrunners. I'm not a speedrunner, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them would uh, love the idea that you don't have to run around and waste time with that stuff. You can also increase the difficulty of the game if you want by just not getting the upgrades. It's not mandatory. It'll make the game stupid hard, but you can do it if you want that. I mean, there are people out there who just want the challenge, and that's fair. I mean, there are people who are crazy enough to beat Bloodborne without any upgrades. I don't know how they do that, but they are out there. Like, I'm still going through Bloodborne, and I can barely beat it with all the upgrades. I just suck at Souls-like games. But I like it. I like it. It's fun, and it's really cool, the dark fantasy element. So after you complete each level, you go into the next uh, planet, and you keep going until, you know, reach all of them. If you do die, you... Uh, keep everything that you've earned but of course you get more if you complete everything but if you die completely uh, uh no uh, what i was saying is that you do get to keep some stuff so it's not a true roguelike it's a rogue light number of projectiles health increase yeah let's do this i actually should have done the health thing when you play solo health is what you need oh, i never fought this guy this is new he has speakers on his back So bosses do have uh, phases, 
and they increase in difficulty as you play, as you uh, whittle down their health. And also that disturbance thing does not, uh, also comes with bosses. Like, they'll happen at random times. I don't think they power up the boss themselves, but they will spawn, uh, they will spawn the enemies. More than this, like the more powerful enemies that we'll later see. That's better. I do. I kind of hope for the uh, final build they uh, increase the health meter. If you don't notice, the health meter is up here, and it's super tiny. Like, yeah, you can see it's right there. It's super tiny. I kind of want them to highlight it a little better. Maybe put it on the top, like the Halo uh, shield the indicator. Because when you're playing the game and you have to watch your character all the time while watching the enemies, it can get a little annoying. So maybe uh, give you the option to place it on the screen in a stationary position so you can watch it at all times. That's just my opinion. I'm sure someone out there will say you're an idiot, you're wrong in every way. Alright, uh, yeah, definitely that. Someone's still alive, I assume. There it is. Alright, here they come. See, those are the strong enemies that I was talking like. They look like the robots from Horizon Zero Dawn. Surprised there's no friendly fire for the enemies that explode. You would assume there would be. Some upgrades. Uh, increased attack power. That'll be good. Dodging is, of course, essential in every way. So these enemies are pretty cool looking. They look like Pokemon, uh, fire Pokemon. There we go. So these are one of the environmental additions. I think I already mentioned this. Some of them uh, offer significant boosts. Like this one will wipe out the entire field if I can keep on the pad until it charges. There we go. Why not? Let's uh, get that. perfect dodge thing was worth it. Alright, planet number four. Alright, so this is one of the special arenas, I guess. It's tower defense, basically.
Ah, crap, Titans. That sucks actually, I wanted some sort of uh, thing that recovers my mortars. Might as well get that. Else? Defense suit, increase health. If I get my health below 30%, I'm basically screwed. <laughs> well, at least I'll get a Hail Mary. Alright, uh, final boss. Now, these guys are intense. Of course, they're supposed to be their final boss. No! What the hell? Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, God. Can I get the ability? Nope, they're saying screw you. Damn it. And of course they send in the Hades. Yeah, and I'm dead. 
Oh god, I suck. <laughs> it's because I... <laughs> yeah, so I failed at the end. But, uh, yeah, that is Anvil Vault Breakers for at least the first planet. But, yeah, it's a pretty decent... It's a pretty addicting game, to be honest. I got into one run and then I just kept playing over and over again. It can get uh, enthralling at times, and I do like the gameplay. I can see this uh, again... A lot of fun with friends. I like the enemy design. I like a lot of it. So um, ultimately, if you want to try the game, you can. It, there's a demo right now. I'll click. I'll give you a link in the description below, and I'm gonna call it here. So if everyone who joined me and watched this video, thank you so much. I do appreciate it, even though I died at the end. But it is a really good game, and I do hope that the final product delivers a little more in terms of highlighting the. Uh, character's health that's just my uh, personal gripe and i also hope that it's a little like the grind i can assume it's going to be fixed because this is a preview build but hopefully there's a little more um you get a little more for completing things and you know it doesn't take so long because i've been playing this game for about two hours maybe three and i barely unlocked a lot of stuff i also hope they add more cosmetics but the gameplay is tight the boss fights are great and it does have that addicting formula. The music is, well, it's engaging. As long as it keeps you into the mood of shooting the aliens, that's all I call for. But for now, I'm again going to call it here. Leave a like, subscribe, check out newfeed.com, and I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome, everyone.